Hey, Art, I'm going to say hello today because I want everybody to notice my Hawaiian shirt. It's summertime. Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii. <laughs> you sound like Arthur Godfrey. Well, a, a wannabe, a wannabe. No, <laughs> our audience will know who he was. Yeah. And they'll yeah. know him for better or for worse, not just for the ukulele, okay, but for Julius Rosa, Stephen Eady. Okay, we're not yeah. going there. Okay, summertime. Yeah. So, so John, what do you? What's different for you? I know you're outside a lot. You're in your garden a lot, so you're outside a lot. What's different for you during the summer that uh, is different? How do you change what you well, do? Well, once upon a time, it, it would mean beach for me. Moving to Southern California many years ago, of course, you can pretty much go to the beach all year round. Right. Um, but for some reason, and I don't have a real good reason, in the last 10 years, I have really not been to the beach. Um, my sons and grandsons are surfers. They're beaching all over the place. Uh, but here it is summertime, and um, I'm thinking uh, this is the year I'm going to go back to the beach. I got to get, I have to set a schedule for myself. Like every Thursday, I'll take the morning and I'll go sit on the beach and read a book and get my feet wet, that kind of thing. Mm. Well, you know, it's kind How of funny. You? I, I used to live at the beach. As a matter of fact, uh, back in New York, uh, for maybe a dozen years, uh, we had a cabana at Silver Point Beach Club at the tip of uh, Long Beach, Long Island. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. Uh, and, yeah. and we would go there. We would leave the house and get there by 7, 7, 15 in the morning and not leave till late or night at night every weekend. And sometimes uh, yeah. I'd take Wednesdays off and we'd have Wednesdays at the beach. Uh, and uh, Linda played Marjan and had a whole bunch of friends there. She played other things. I played uh, 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 hardball, not hardball, uh, handball against the yeah. uh, concrete. And I'd be brown as a berry. And if I didn't have sand between my toes, I didn't feel good. Uh, so <laughs> I, I used to live at the beach uh, even before that, before when I was a kid, I used to go every weekend and uh, have yeah. uh, Jerry's Knishes in Rockaway. Uh, so, and Coney Island was always a favorite place of mine. Now, but, all, all that changed when you moved to Southern California and got melanoma. Well, but even before that, that was six years ago, so we'll get to that in a moment. But um, I used to, uh, Linda worked uh, on the weekends, and so I would go with my Sunday New York Times down to the beach, and for three hours, I would read a real get ink on your hands and the, the yeah. aroma of the ink on the uh, on the paper. And I yeah. would do that for like two or three hours. Uh, so and even during even during the winter, I would go down to the beach and uh, sit there and read. So I was a beach kind of guy and I would always take my kids. We would play in the tide pools and what have you. But then six yeah. years ago, I got diagnosed with a uh, melanoma. Uh, we caught it early. I had a surgery. In fact, um, over just over five years maybe almost five and a half years cancer free now. And the doctors don't even want to see me anymore after doing annual checkups. But I stay out of the sun, except I go to a lot of little league games, sure. but I get uh, I lather up my arms and my even my neck and my nose and what have you. Right. And pay attention to that. So and that, smartly, that's changed for me. smartly you wear a hat too. All the never wore a hat even in the middle of the winter back east up until yeah. six years ago when I got diagnosed and uh, you probably, other than on the videos, I've, out in public, have never seen me without a ball cap on. Yeah. 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 Um, well, it's, it's summertime does represent, uh, I think for people, um, if you don't live on the coast, if you live in the inland somewhere, it represents a, a beach at a lake. Right. You know, and so the, the word beach, I think is a is a word relevant to everybody or, that relates or the, to something. or the community pool. At sure, the, at the Y or the community pool, or people have a, yeah. particularly out in California, they used to have pools in the background, but it's so expensive these days just to maintain them that uh, a lot of people uh, are not that interested. But yes, at uh, at their associations yeah. or what have you. But I tell you that I miss the ocean. I really love the ocean, uh, and. Uh, Linda and I go for a walk almost every Sunday morning down at Dana Point, but we oh, do it. 
we do it at seven o'clock in the morning before the sun hits. Okay, yeah. so by the time eight eight thirty rolls around, we head home. Uh, and, oh, that's. And I used to practice Tai Chi at the beach every most every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, right. or just Sunday. Uh, and I haven't gone for years, but I just this last Friday picked up with a bunch of my buddies who still go quite frequently, but also meet at seven in the morning. So I'm a happy yeah. camper as long as I'm out of there before the sun comes up. It's almost like I'm a vampire now. Uh, <laughs> but I love. Well, love you can it. tell. I, I think viewers can tell by the difference in your skin color and my skin color. Who gets more sun? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you're you're out, uh, aren't you? Out almost every week, except when it's raining, doing something in your yeah. garden. Sure. I, I'm. Yeah, I've spent a lot of time outdoors every day. Yeah. Um, so it it shows. Uh, but I should be more careful, like you are. Uh, luckily, I haven't had any uh, any problems with melanoma. Yeah, well, uh, uh, I'm you know I am fair skinned. I have blue eyes, so those are things that sort of tend to do that. But uh, my uh, my uh, little granddaughter, who's nine, uh, we just saw a video of her. She's in a surfing camp this week, and uh, oh, be good. because she's a gymnast and she's got great balance, uh, they just she's in a second day and she already was uh, coming back uh, like Gidget. On a surfboard, yeah. as she's already ride, riding these low waves in, and my grandson, uh, who's twelve, is going for his uh, older class uh, next week. That's so, great. and your kid, your kids, you do you have some grandkids that are big time surfers, aren't they? I oh, mean, I, have, I have a couple of grandchildren. One that's uh, traveling the world uh, surfing mm. uh, wow. competitively. And he's sponsored, makes his own boards, got the name on the bottom. He's very popular. So. But everybody, I think everybody loves the, the ocean, even if you just sit in the sand mm -hmm. and watch the waves roll in. There's a certain sound to it, the, the smell of the salt air. Yeah. Um, and if you're in the interior of the country, you find a great lake to go to and it, you go out and bass fish or whatever it is. Yeah. So it's summertime. I hope everybody enjoys the summer in your own way, whatever it is, whether it's a beach or a lake or just sitting on the porch and go get yourself checked out by a dermatologist i go every six months but go at least once a year whether you're fair skinned or uh, uh more uh, olive skinned you're mediterranean doesn't really matter yep. get yourself checked out because most of the stuff that can catch early and uh, uh and you can still enjoy everything when you get something more serious like i do okay so i i give up the daytime and i go early in the morning but the, yeah, the ocean's a great place to be, the water, the lakes. Yep. And it's a great thing to do, especially young kids or grandkids. Uh, it's a great activity to be involved in. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.